2020 marks the year of the 25th anniversary of Children's Ministries. Welcome to our program as we celebrate the talent and the abilities of children in the Northern Conference. This is indeed a very special Sabbath. Before we go into the parts that will be presented by our children, I wish to share with you a bit about the history of General Conference Children's Ministries Department. While it is true that Children's Ministries did not become a full-fledged department of the General Conference until 1995, the Seventh-day Adventist Church had long recognized the importance of ministering to children even as far back as the 1800s. Work for children began in 1863 when Adelia Payton wrote a two-year series of lessons for children. From 1864 through to 1888, children's lessons were published in the Youth's Instructor, most of which centered around biblical history and narrative Bible stories. In 1869, G.H. Bell wrote a series of lessons for children. In 1890, our little friend began carrying the Sabbath school lessons for primary and kindergarten children, which lasted for 67 years. In 1957, our little friend began to have Sabbath school lessons for the cradle roll children together with the kindergarten children. Sabbath school lessons for primary children appeared in a new publication, Primary Treasure, in 1956. Sabbath school quarterlies for primary and junior ages started in Australia in 1911 through to 1913 and soon more quarterlies were produced for children for the rest of the English-speaking world. From 1993 to 1936, a series of five volumes called Bible Stories for the Children for the Cradle Roll appeared. Other curriculum materials for children appeared periodically, both from the General Conference Sabbath School Department and from active and enthusiastic teachers and personnel in local Sabbath schools around the world. Although there was no organized departmental work for children, in 1885 at the General Conference session in New Orleans, the Church Ministries Department was created, which was formed from a merger of four other departments. This department, in cooperation with the Review and Herald and Pacific Express Publishing Associations, produced Sabbath School Quarterlies for Children. These included Kindergarten, Primary, Junior and Early Teen. From 18, 1985 to 1990, Children's Ministries received its impetus from the vision and prompting of Helen Craig, former Sabbath School Associate Director for Children's Sabbath School, Vocation Bible School and Children Evangelism. The 1995 General Conference session marks a watershed for children's ministries. On July 4, 1995, A. H. Tolhurst proposed a motion from the floor that the Children's Ministries Department be established as a separate ministry, a separate department of the church. It was seconded and voted and Children's Ministries became the newest department of the church the only department in history to be suggested from the floor at a session. In the year 2000, a new children's curriculum was written for the World Church. This was a product of creative thinking and evaluation by many people from all over world divisions. Known as Grace Link, this new curriculum stresses four core aspects of Christian faith. The first, grace, God's part in the plan of salvation. The second core, worship, our response to God's saving initiative. The third, community, how God's grace compels us 
to live together in harmony as the family of God. And lastly, service, our response to God's love as we reach out in soul winning and service to others. Well, today, Children's Ministries has become a worldwide ministry with every division in the world field having a director to oversee the work of spiritual nurturing and training for children. I welcome you to join us in a very special program on the Sabbath from the Children's Ministries Department of the Northern Conference. Be blessed and enjoy it. Thank you too to all the children who are participating in our program today. May you also be blessed as you work for Jesus. Children's Ministries is about developing the faith of children ages birth to 14. While Sabbath School provides for religious education once a week, Children's Ministries looks at the whole child and seeks to provide multiple ministries that will lead children to Jesus and disciple them in their daily walk with Him. The Bible makes it very clear that children are special to God. If you examine what the Bible says about children, you will notice a great number of perspectives. Children are a gift from God. He gives children to parents as special signs of love and personal fulfillment. Children are desirable. From creation, God has instructed us to bear children. Children bring joy and blessings to adults. God provides many benefits to parents through parenting their children. Children need to be taught how to develop a relationship with God. One of our greatest challenges is to pass on our beliefs and understanding of God to our children. Children are so valuable to God that He commands us to protect them. Parents are to ensure the spiritual and physical security of their children. God loves children enough to ensure that they receive discipline. God enjoys the nature and personality of children and asks adults to learn from them. Scripture identifies attributes such as sincerity, humility, simplicity and trusting as qualities found in children and God treasures these characteristics. If children matter this much to God, then they should matter as much to us too. Jesus' great commission is, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Surely this includes making disciples of children and leading them to make a personal commitment to Jesus. So precious, so very dear to me. He loved me with such tender love. I love him faithfully. I could not live a part of him. I had to feed him night. And so we dwell together, my Lord and I. I tell him all my sorrow. I tell him all my joys. I tell him all what pleases me. I tell him what a noise. He tells me what I ought to do. He tells me how to try. And so we dwell together, my Lord and I. I tell him all my sorrow. I tell him all my joys. I tell him all that pleases me. I tell him what a noise. He tells me what I ought to do. He tells me how to try. And so we dwell together, my Lord and I. And so we dwell together, my Lord and I. Good day to everyone listening to my voice clip and God bless you all. My name is Simone Burtz and I'm privileged enough to be the children's ministries leader at Bosmont Church. So it will be impossible to sum up my experiences while in leadership of this amazing department in just a minute or two, but I'm going to try and do it in four quick points. And these are the points that have stood out for me and things that I've thought about 
um, while being in leadership in this department. And the first one is that I believe that we as a church are so blessed to have the Grace Link curriculum to teach our children. We are never at a loss of what to say, sing or do in our lessons. And I'm so grateful to be a part of a, of a church that is so orderly and organized. The second one is that once again, I feel that we are richly blessed by all the resources our church has for our teachers, parents and children from advice to guidance, to activities, to um, prayer tips. There's just everything that we need at our fingertips. And it just takes our passion to run with what is presented to us and enhance it. The third one is that working in this department has allowed us as a team of teachers at Bossmont to be so creative. And it excites me to think about all the exciting ways we can create to make learning about Jesus fun and inspiring. Coupled with this is definitely the excitement that the children show when something awesome is planned for them. I encourage all leaders to go the extra mile and think out of the box to make children's ministries the very place to be. And the last one is that we started a program at our church called Local Vocals. This is a once a month worship program for children where they would learn a new song, have a prayer activity and then testify. It was so heartwarming for me to see that nearly all the children in our ministry wanted to testify over and over again in praise of God and what he has done for them and their families. And just to sum, it, sum this, whole, um, this whole voice clip up, um, I can only just thank God that I've had this opportunity to work in this fantastic department and work with, an, with a number one team over the last two years. And I look forward to 2021 and creating excitement and um, ways and opportunities for the children to fall in love more deeply with, with Jesus. Thank you and enjoy the rest. Angel of the Lord campeth around those who fear him, and he, the, and he will deliver them. Psalms 34, verse 7. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Now prepare us a table before me in the midst of my enemies. Now I anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I started walking when I was young, I'm learning new things as I grow. Some people say I'm getting so tall, where did the little kid go? Inside now it's God is making me new, you may not see it happen until he is through. Little by little, I'm changing, I'm growing. Little by little, I hope that it's showing. I'm not who I'll be, I'm not who I was. I'm somewhere in the middle. But God is changing me, little by little. Sometimes it feels like I'm so far away from all that I know I should be. But it's what says I'll finish one day. All that he started in me I look at me and I don't understand But God has a vision and God has a plan And little by little I'm changing, I'm growing Little by little I hope that it's showing I'm not who I'll be I'm not who I was I'm somewhere in the middle, but God is changing me, little by little. By little, I'm changing, I'm growing, little by little, I hope that it's showing. I'm not who I'll be, I'm not who I was, 
I'm somewhere in the middle, but God is changing me little by little. But God is changing me little by little. Een versie in de Bijbel is Johannes 3, vers 16. Want ze liefde het God die wereld gehad, dat ze enig geboren, zien gestuur het, zodat die wat in hom geloof nie verloor mag gaan nie, maar die eeuwige leven kan heen.
it's the heaven and the earth. Genesis 1 verse 1. Out of the mouth of God. Hello, my name is Chanel and I am from the RB Sport community. At the beginning of the year was I in the first year the program that we had by each other in the year 2020. But unfortunately, the COVID and lockdown had our plans a little bit of the path. And as the community, we had to adjust this a little bit. 
Um, ek is baie blij om te sien hoe die kinders dwars die die jaar, selfs die loktijd, al was het oor WhatsApp video call of oproepies, um, nog steeds gebel het, laat ons die Bijbel vastvraag doen, um, wat de hele competitie oor die jaar was, wat ons in ons gemeente gedoen het, en kinders het heel tyd punte verwerf. Um, so die die jaar ook, was daar een paar kinders, en selfs een dochterkie van 5 jaar oud, wat al 66 van haar Bijbelboeken ken, maar dan kon sy meer punte gekry het. En so twee weke terug het ons ons finals gehad by die, by die kerkse saal en Renier Foster het gewen met oor die duisend punte. En dit was um, so blij om te sien hoe allemaal nog steeds opgewonde was die hele jaar om meer te leer van die Bijbel en selfs die Bijbelboeken. Ons het ook dier die tijd van die lockdown, um, toe ons mekaar glad die mag gesien het nie, het ek en van die kinders um, op Zoom Bijbelstudies opgeneem en van ander kinders gestuur, selfs um, maakies wat nie in die gemeente is nie. Um, ek denk soos meeste gemeentes het ons gesien dat hierdie jaar was piekie te leerstellend en dalk moeilik, want ons het mekaar die baie gesien nie, baie van die programme kon ons nie vol gedoen het soos wat ons beplan het nie. Maar wat vir my baie exciting was, is om te sien hoe allemaal nog steeds vierig blij om saam by mekaar te kom, al is het oor Zoom, al is het kinderkies wat net hulle maas een foone vasthou, ouders wat belangstelling help om hulle kinders nog steeds by bybelstudies en kerkaktiviteite te kry. En ek denk dit is vir ons sening in elke huisgezin. Um, ons is opgewonde oor die volgende jaar en dit wat ons geleerd het uit hierdie jaar, wat ons nog steeds met mekaar kan staan en die boodskap van die evangelies en gelijkenisse deel met mekaar en met maakies wat buiten die kerk is en om so ons groepie net groter te maak. So aan allemaal wat in kinderbediening is en deel is van sabbatskole, um, ons bid vir mekaar, ons is excited oor volgende jaar, ons het baie lesse geleer en Ons kinders blijven vir ons belangrik in die gemeente is, of ons mekaar nou kan sien of nie kan sien nie, um, of die batterijen van die foone werk of nie, dit is belangrijk om in contact te blijven met ons kinders, en vooral voor ons ook, want ons krijgt die grootste sening daardoor om Jesus' liefde met klein kinderkies te deel. So, staart vir volgende jaar in een geseende um, feesttijd wat voorle, en mag Jesus ons plannen vir volgende jaar net meer sien, ongeacht wat sy lockdowns vir ons nog voorle. Is my licht en my lede Psalm 27 vers 1 Psalm van David Die Heere is my licht en my lede Vir wie sal ek bang wees? Die Heere is my toevlug Vir wie sal ek vrees? Everybody. I'm Megan Pitoris from the Alvarado Park Congregation. For me, children's ministry has been a huge impact, made a huge impact in my life. Teaching children, there is no greater joy. The learnings that come with it build you, strengthen you, and make you a better person for Jesus. The saying, be like little children, is so true. Working with children is the greatest joy that you can get. You can shout at them, yet tomorrow, they will still hug you, kiss you, and love you like there's no tomorrow. Children's ministry has been the greatest joy in my life. For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 2 verse 6. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. For the past two years, I've had the privilege of teaching children's ministries and being the children's ministries leader in the Florida Lake Church. And it has been such a blessing to not only myself, but to the children that we've had the pleasure of teaching. Obviously, this year with Corona, it's been slightly different and challenging, but absolutely rewarding. And I wouldn't have had it any other way. 
Um, when I think of children's ministries, I always think of Proverbs 22 verse 6, where it says, train up a child um, in the way that he should go, and when he's not older, he will not depart from it. And it's so true, especially for children's ministries. We often do not realize how vital children's ministries is in any church organization. Children are the fundamental backbone of our churches, and we need to pay special care and attention to them so that when they're older, they will come back to their churches. They know what they've been taught, mm. and they have the love of Jesus in their heart because they've been taught from a very young age the fundamentals, and they've been taught that Jesus loves them no matter where they go in life. So for me, Children's Ministries in the past two years and before that has always been a blessing. I have loved seeing how the children grow, how they love the programs that we prepare for them, how they just blossom. Um, and especially our teenage children as well. Um, children's Ministries doesn't just stop from the little ones to when they get te to teens you see the children that you've been teaching how they blossom and they grow and they just become themselves but they become themselves in Jesus and they know that Jesus loves them unconditionally and no matter where they go in life they'll always come back to that mm -hmm. so children's min ministries is an absolute blessing and congratulations children's ministries on 25 wonderful years I pray that Jesus will bless this wonderful department to continue doing the amazing work that they're doing and that there will be 25 more wonderful years until Jesus comes. Die Heere is my herde, a pasalam van David, pasalam 23. Die Heere is my herde, ek kom niks koop nie. Hy laat my neer le, en groen blijf al die, hy bring my by water, so wat vrede is. Hy gee my nieuwe kracht, hy leid my op die rechte paard, die die eer van sy naam. Sal sal gaan ek die donker diepte, sal ek nie bang wees nie, want eers by my, die eer hande is ek veilig. Hy laat my by a feest van ons het, terwyl my teestanders nie toekijk. Hy ontvang my soos die eere gas. Ek word door laai met haaglikheid. Hy goedheid en liefde sal lewe lang by my bly. En ek sal thuis jy sê in die huis van die eere tot die lente vandag. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Little ones like me, sat upon his knee. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. My verse is Psalms 56 verse 3. When I'm afraid, I will trust in you. Today my verse will be found from James 3 verse 18. It says, Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. My verse today is Psalms 23 verse 1 to 6. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before in the presence of my enemies. Though I noticed my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Today my memory is every perfect is is from God. James is Axel, I'll fight my beloftes how and jou and jou kinders, want ek is jou God in hulle God. Family. Today I'm going to be doing my favorite memory verse. Every perfect gift is from God. James 1 verse 17. My name is Damon, and my favorite verse in the Bible comes from Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. And in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. We are his hand to touch the world around us. We are his feet to go where he may be. We are his love burning in the darkness. We are his love shining
are his eyes to see the need in others. We are his voice to tell of his return. We are his love burning darkness we are his love shining in the night we are his love burning in the darkness we are his love Shining in the night We are His love Shining in the Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Good morning everybody and a happy Sabbath to you all. Today I will be reading a poem. What can I give him as poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would give him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. But what can I give him? I can give him my heart. Thank you. My friends in the Bible is Psalm 91 verse 1 to 3. Hij wat in die skuilplek van die allerhoogste sit, sal vannacht in die skade weer van die helmachtige. Ek sal tot die Heere sê my toevlug en my bergvest, ek my God op werk vertrouw, want het is hy wat jou sal red uit die net van die voorvanger van die verderflikke pes. Good morning, church, and I hope you say it to all. Today I've been reading my favorite verse, Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Amen. Psalm 23, verse 1. Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. Good morning, church, and a happy Sabbath to you all. Today I'll be reading my favorite verse, Acts 1, verse 8. And it reads as follows. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Amen. Hello. Guys, say your name, everybody. My name is MJ Anibo. What's your name, girl? My name is Aniboro KK. Good job. Can you move closer to your brother? Good job. Now, can you guys tell me your verses? Genesis 1, verse mm -hmm. 1. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Good job. The next one? Ephesians, uh, uh, John 3, verse 35. Mm -hmm. Jesus wept. Mm -hmm. uh, Ephesians? Ephesians 6, verse 1. Obey your parents. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Morning, George, and a happy Sabbath to you. Today I will be saying my favorite verse, John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, and whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Jesus say, Jesus say, let the connect is now mighty God. Matthias 19. Matthias 19. Verse 14. Verse 14. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Long lay the world in sin and error pain until he appeared and the soul felt its worth. Earth will our hope, the weary will rejoice in for your. 
walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for you are with me, and thy rod and staff comfort me. Psalms chapter 23, verse 4. My name is Ilya Rosaria Burt. My name's church is Bossmont. Today I'm going to be reading Storybook 8, The Ladder of Life series, Love. Love is a kiss at nap time when I'm snug in my bed. It means sometimes our mommies and daddies kiss us at night, but sometimes God always, always kisses us at night. And also protects us. Love is a hand to hold when the heels too steep also sometimes our grandpas and our sisters and our brothers and our mommies and daddies help us when we fall but god is always there to help us even when we hurt our hearts love is a lap to sit on when grandpa's dog barks too loud we also sit on jesus's lap when when he says, come and listen to stories. Read one more from the love book. Love is a home in heaven. What we will enjoy together. We will enjoy heaven all together. There will not be sorrow. There will not be anybody hurting each other. There won't be anything that happens here on earth. Our next book is Our next book is Storybook Seven The Ladder of Life series Kindness. Kindness is throwing seeds out to the birds when the snow is falling. God also provides us food when we don't have food. La kindness is sharing my doll when she's my favorite one. Sharing is good because God wants us to share. Sometimes when other people don't have other toys, we can share and sometimes we can give them. Because God gives. Because God gives us also stuff and we have to help. He gives us every? Everything. Good. Kindness is not pulling my kitty's tail when he is close to me. We mustn't also pull when God is with us, we mustn't also, when God is with us, he also protects us and he's gentle. So we mustn't pull our little kitties and our little turtles and our little dogs. Can read one more from kindness? Mm. Kindness is... Kindness is on... See. Doing. Doing to others what I want them to do for me. There we go. Treating others with re Treating others with respect is very good because God wants us to respect Him. I am happy that you enjoyed my two readings. Close and pray. Thank you, God, for this day. And thank you that you brought us home. And also, please protect the other mommies and daddies that are driving back home from work. And help everybody to be safe from Corona. In Jesus' name, Amen. Verse 18. Come, let us listen, says the Lord. Even if your sins is as lead as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. First Timothy 1 verse 15. This is a faithful saying, the end is worthy of all acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief.
who can find a richer woman far for her price is far above for this. Matthew 22, verse 37 to 39. And he said to them, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. Good job. Can you tell me your verse, Genesis? Genesis 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Good job. Thank you. First Kings 19 verse 11. Uh, the Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord. For the Lord is about to pass by. Mm -hmm. The nine. Verse 10. Verse 10. The fear mm -hmm. the Lord is speaking only to on the Lord to holy he died Joshua 1 verse 9 reads, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Hello everyone. Um, David Livingstone in Sibo. I'm going to recite Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in the green pastures. He makes me beside the still waters, as my soul. He makes me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Therefore, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy not in thy stuff comfort me. Thou prepare and the devil before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou not my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will direct your paths. My name is Kucho Kamani from Western Bank SDA Church. The, the Bible verse of today is from the book of Psalm 51, verse 10. It reads, Create in me a new clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Amen. Psalms 23, verse 1. <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. The wife of noble character. A wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. Proverbs 31, verse 10 to 11. Now, do your verse. Can you see one verse? Can I see one verse? One? Mm -hmm. In the beginning, mm. to create a well done, sweetie. Do Psalms 23. Psalms 23, verse 1. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd. I should just once. Very good. Well done, sweetie. Um, let's sing now. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I love the Bible. So me so mm -hmm. little ones to him belong. Come on, sing. Yes, I know. I know. God always wants us to be holy and not always wants us to fight. He always wants us to protect each other. No fighting. That Jesus died on the cross for us and he died not for, not for only one person but for everyone. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful that I'm alive for another year.
to help me to remember and I must remember that my strength comes from you. I must read my Bible and I must not forget to pray. And that is my testimony. Thank you. The mission of the Children's Ministries Department is to nurture children into a loving, serving relationship with Jesus. We seek to fulfill our mission by developing the following grace-oriented ministries in which all children will experience the unconditional love of Jesus, find assurance of acceptance and forgiveness, and make a commitment to Him and develop their faith. Inclusive ministries in which the volunteers who minister and the children to whom they minister will be valued and involved regardless of race, color, language, gender, age, abilities, or socio-economic circumstances. Leadership ministries, in which volunteers are empowered, trained and equipped for effective ministry to children. Service-oriented ministries, in which children are given opportunities for hands-on service to people in their neighborhood or city, which could establish a pattern of outreach to others that may well continue through life. Cooperative ministries, which involve working in partnerships with other ministries, such as family ministries, Sabbath school, and stewardship, to support and help parents develop the faith of their children. Safe ministries, whereby our church adopts safeguards to protect children from physical, emotional, and spiritual abuse, to choose volunteers with high spiritual and moral backgrounds, and to minimize the church liability. And lastly, but not least, evangelistic ministries in which children who are not enfolded in the church family will be introduced to the love of Jesus through outreach programs such as vacation Bible schools, children's branch Sabbath schools, neighborhood Bible clubs and story hours.